Victorious warriors win first and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. He who knows when he can fight and when he cannot, will be victorious. In the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. If the mind is willing, the flesh could go on and on without many things. The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the results of a hundred battles. Be extremely subtle, even to the point of formlessness. Be extremely mysterious, even to the point of soundlessness. Thereby you can be the director of the opponent's fate. Invincibility lies in the defense, the possibility of victory in the attack. There is no instance of a nation benefiting from prolonged warfare. The art of war is of vital importance to the state. It is a matter of life and death, a road either to safety or to ruin. Hence it is a subject of inquiry which can on no account be neglected. Appear weak when you are strong, and strong when you are weak. If fighting is sure to result in victory, then you must fight, even though the ruler forbid it. If fighting will not result in victory, then you must not fight even at the ruler's bidding. Keep your friends close, your enemies even closer. Let your plans be dark and as impenetrable as night, and when you move, fall like a thunderbolt. Strategy without tactics is the slowest route to victory. Tactics without strategy is the noise before defeat. Victory comes from finding opportunities in problems. Do not engage an enemy more powerful than you. And if it is unavoidable and you do have to engage, then make sure you engage it on your terms, not on your enemy's terms. Even the finest sword plunged into salt water will eventually rust. The greatest victory is that which requires no battle. Opportunities multiply as they are seized. It is more important to outthink your enemy, than to outfight him. Move swift as the wind and closely formed as the wood. Attack like the fire and be as still as the mountain. Treat your men as you would your own beloved sons, and they will follow you into the deepest valley.
build your opponent a golden bridge to retreat across. Concentrate your energy and hoard your strength. Who wishes to fight must first count the cost. One may know how to conquer without being able to do it. A leader leads by example, not by force. Management of many is the same as management of few. It is a matter of organization. He who is prudent and lies in wait for an enemy who is not, will be victorious. The expert in battle moves the enemy, and is not moved by him. The wise warrior avoids the battle. It is easy to love your friend, but sometimes the hardest lesson to learn is to love your enemy. Rewards for good service should not be deferred a single day. Do not repeat the tactics which have gained you one victory, but let your methods be regulated by the infinite variety of circumstances. Ponder and deliberate before you make a move. What the ancients call the clever fighter is one who not only wins, but excels in winning with ease. All warfare is based on deception. Hence, when we are able to attack, we must seem unable. When using our forces, we must appear inactive. When we are near, we must make the enemy believe we are far away. When far away, we must make him believe we are near. Victory is reserved for those who are willing to pay its price. Those who are victorious plan effectively and change decisively. They are like a great river that maintains its course but adjusts its flow. One mark of a great soldier is that he fights on his own terms or fights not at all. You cannot know if you will be successful or not. You can only prepare for battle and it must be done with all of your heart and with all of your consciousness. In that manner, you will have an edge. If the enemy opens the door, you must race in. Know yourself and you will win all battles. Correct your mistake as soon as you have found it. The value of time, that is of being a little ahead of your opponent, often provides greater advantage than superior numbers or greater resources. Every battle is won before it is fought.
A warrior who is prepared to fight must also be prepared to die. Don't flail against the world, use it. Flexibility is the operative principle in the art of war. He who knows things, and in fighting puts his knowledge into practice, will win his battles. He who knows them not, nor practices them, will surely be defeated. Ultimate excellence lies not in winning every battle, but in defeating the enemy without ever fighting. Plan for what is difficult while it is easy, do what is great while it is small. When one treats people with benevolence, justice and righteousness, and reposes confidence in him, the army will be united in mind and all will be happy to serve their leaders. Weak leadership can wreck the soundest strategy. Forceful execution of even a poor plan can often bring victory. Great results can be achieved with small forces. Carefully compare the opposing army with your own so that you may know where strength is superabundant and where it is deficient. You can prevent your opponent from defeating you through defense, but you cannot defeat him without taking the offensive. The successful person has unusual skill at dealing with conflict and ensuring the best outcome for all. What is of the greatest importance in war is extraordinary speed. One cannot afford to neglect opportunity. Move not unless you see an advantage. Use not your troops unless there is something to be gained, fight not unless the position is critical. The captured soldiers should be kindly treated and kept. Never trust a friend who is silent about your flaws. An enemy is a friend who knows too much about you. Who does not know the evils of war cannot appreciate its benefits. Never engage a man who has nothing to lose. Can you imagine what I would do if I could do all I can?